About one in three voters in Arizona don't belong to a political party. That means they can't vote in presidential primaries. A new measure that would change how Arizonans vote is likely to appear on the ballot in November. Make Elections Fair aims to abolish semi-closed primaries in the state. And as Aoife Kane reports, the campaign says they have enough signatures to qualify for the ballot in November. This ballot initiative would open primary elections to all voters, regardless of party affiliation. According to a new study from ASU, four out of five Gen Z voters in Arizona feel that the two major parties don't represent them. A study across all age demographics last year showed similar signs. 80% of all voters in Arizona supported nonpartisan primaries, right, which is significantly high. Um, and that was across Republicans, Democrats, and independents. Uh, overwhelmingly, you know, felt you shouldn't have to join a party to vote. Independents can vote in primaries for U.S. Congress and the legislature. The new system would be very different. If the ballot measure passes, the top Dem and top Republican won't necessarily face off in the general elections, though it's up to the legislature to sort out the details. What form of nonpartisan primary should be adopted? Should it be a top two? Should it be a top three? Should it be a top five? Whatever kicks it to the legislature, which of course is controlled by the parties. The campaign, which includes former Phoenix Mayor Paul Johnson, says Arizona Republicans have filed as an organization opposed to the initiative. There's all kinds of legal, constitutional, uh, legislative barriers that keep the status quo firmly protected from efforts to change it. But how do independent voters in the state feel about this idea? And the idea that everyone can participate in shaping our political culture and who our leaders are. And so it seems like a no-brainer to me. With more than half a million signatures collected, the campaign is now turning its focus to ensuring the initiative gets passed. We're trying to have every voter treated the same and every candidate treated the same. So that'll be our messaging. We'll get those signage up for brand awareness on what our issue is. The Republican and Democratic parties in Arizona did not comment before the time of this broadcast, but Arizona's Democratic Senator Mark Kelly said that he supports anything that strengthens democracy in the state and that the implementation of the initiative also matters. In Washington, Aoife Kane, Cronkite News. Make Elections Fair will be filing its initiative on July 3rd at noon. If passed, it would go into effect in November 2025, influencing the U.S. House elections in 2026.